refused to surrender. For students today, meanwhile, as promised, the library reopened and classes resumed. Across campus, extra police officers on bikes and walking around for the sole purpose of instilling a feeling of safety and calm. As News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts reports, students are taking note and saying thanks. Well, campus and city police continue tonight to investigate every detail leading up to this on-campus shooting. But as they're working, students here on campus are working to make sure all these officers know how thankful these students are for all of their efforts, leaving signs like these inside of the police station, thanking them for helping them feel safe and move forward one day at a time. It is a day to kind of bounce back and, and of healing. And every, I think everyone wants to be able to move past and just go back to normalcy. Wellington resident and FSU student Juan Cardona among the first to go back inside the Strozier Library this morning. And I don't want this to be the highlight of their college career or the highlight of their semester. This is an incident. We're going to deal with it. We have addressed it and we're going to move forward. Police and campus leaders welcoming them back inside, helping them feel safe and welcome. Uh, President Thrasher, he wants us to get back into our routine. A routine some are still adjusting to. Some saying they won't be ready just yet to step back inside the building that was still a crime scene only hours ago. I kind of think it's too early. I mean, that's just my opinion. I think it was too soon, and I mean, I know they want us to move on, but it was, you know, a large amount of number of students that were affected. Students still moving forward in their own ways and their own pace. We have this great sense of community, and I think that's what's going to get us all through these next couple of days before the break. Students telling us they are looking forward to what they expect to be a very spirited and emotional football weekend with many more events geared towards bringing everyone closer together. In Tallahassee, Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.